Hello, and welcome to The Lucy Lou Show, the fueling station for your mind, business, and life. And now, here's your host, Lucy Lou. Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to another episode on The Lucy Lou Show. This is your coach, LL, Lucy Lou. As this episode lands during the Lunar New Year, I want to say Happy Chinese New Year or Happy Lunar New Year if you're celebrating. This is a festival that celebrates the traditional solar calendar, and it's all about good luck, good fortune, long life, and love. So I wish all of those for you and your family. I also want to give out a shout out to Miko, who gave our latest review on Apple Podcast, who says, insightful, a ton of value, keep rocking. Thank you so much for your five-star written review. It means the world to me. Now, today I want to share my two cents on a negative thought I hear way too often. So many people have this thought, which is, I'm not creative enough, or I'm not creative at all. So I'm here to debunk this myth about being creative. I think as I grew up by enough definition, when I hear the word Creativity usually involves the imagination of original ideas or in producing art. But as I grew older, not only does it include artistic work, it also started to mean just be. Being human, being alive, just being you means being creative. I used to think I'm not creative too. But now I honestly think we are all creatives. As long as you are living and breathing, you are creating. So I'm here to help you make this mindset shift that you are a creator. You are creative and you're creating all the time. You're creating your life. You're creating both tangible and intangible things all day long. You make a post on IG, anywhere social, you're being creative. You make a different dish at home, you're being creative. You are creative and you are amazing. I think the biggest block from being creative or thinking we're creative is the limiting belief that gives us a false belief that we're not creative. For example, I used to think I'm a really bad writer. Even though I had straight A's in English class, I still thought I was a bad writer. And so as a result, I never really write in life. But in 2020, I wrote a couple articles, for example, for Elephant Journal or Thrive Globo. And people in my social network started commenting on what a great writer I was. And I was shocked by simply shifting to starting to believe that I am indeed a great writer. I also co-authored in two co-authoring books, both hitting number one bestseller in early 2021. So you see, the point I'm trying to make is we are usually our own blocks. We self-impose these glass ceilings that traps us from being more creative and doing the things that we have the full potential to do. As I said earlier, in my earlier memories, being creative only meant artistic works. Well, I did take painting and other art classes along the way when I was younger. So drawing, penciling, doodling, painting was definitely in my books. And by the way, watercolor was my favorite. I still have a couple of watercolor pieces I did from childhood hanging in my dining room at the moment as we're speaking. And I definitely believe being creative in artistic ways sets a foundation for a happy life. However, there is no age limit to starting in anything. Whether it's art, dance, starting and growing a new hobby, or a business, any activity you can think of. You can be a beginner at any age. Once you start to make that mindset shift and start thinking you are indeed creative, opportunities for more creation will actually rise. I am here today because of so many people and things that inspired me. It's a collective of everything I've learned along the way. And I believe it's true for you. Well of wisdom is inside of all of us. It's just that sometimes we don't see it hidden behind those bushes 
And along the way, we get inspired by other things and people. And it's like every inspiration point, we're cleaning off those bushes that's covering our well of wisdom. And eventually, you'll realize you've had it all along. I do want to mention that community impact is very important to influencing our creativity. If something in your social feed or life is making you think you are not creative or as creative as someone else, start doing a social detox. Mute those influences that are negative. Being creative is also being flexible. For example, when there is a pandemic like we're going through for the past two years, how you reduce stress, how you pivot your life, how you pivot your business, these all can change. And any change in life requires creativity. And of course, if you want to be even more creative, start by making the decision and intention to be more creative. Start by committing that you absolutely will be more creative. Devote yourself and your thoughts developing your creative abilities. Start rewarding your curiosities. Explore new ideas and thoughts. It's okay to have more fun. Have you ever noticed that one great idea or thought often leads directly to another idea or thought? You can take advantage of these ideas and thoughts and snowball as you take more action. So go ahead. Let your messy actions snowball and watch how you get more creative. Challenge yourself to create more opportunities for more creation. Just the fact that you are open to more creative, you're already more creative. If you feel you need more confidence with this, send me a private message anywhere social. Go ahead, just DM me. For example, on Instagram, I'm at M-S-L-U-C-Y-L-I-U. And it's the same handle across all social media platforms. Message me the word, I am remarkable. And I'll get you in on my next pitch-free workshop. that will help you skyrocket your confidence level. And again, I want to remind you that as long as you're living, you are already creating. You are the creator of your life and you're amazing. Keep rocking and keep creating. To all the beautiful souls listening, thank you for joining me on this episode of The Lucy Lou Show. When I'm not podcasting, I am coaching high-achieving women in life transitions, getting unstuck, kissing overwhelmed goodbye, and living a more joyful and fulfilled life through strategic goal setting and mindset transformation. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe, rate, or share this with a friend. And don't forget to join me for the next episode. Remember, there is always a way and more blessings things are coming your way. For free resources and show notes, head over to lucylucoaching.com. 